They have got a lot of snow uh, that has stuck with this system. 45 right now at McCarran. Uh, we've got numbers in the low and the mid 40s, still in the upper 30s in Summerlin, though. The wind is the deal. I mean, here we are right now reporting a 24 mile per hour northwest wind. Watch as these northwesterly winds uh, perhaps try to let up a little bit through the afternoon, but this is still windy when it's this cold. Any kind of 10 to 15 mile per hour steady breeze is going to be very noticeable if you're outside. Now, out there this evening, the winds will gradually relax. Still a bit breezy at times, even after dark up on the north half of town. When we wake up Saturday morning, it'll be a lot calmer, but it'll be a lot colder. We've got 20s in the forecast from most neighborhoods late tonight. Here's the 13 hour forecast. Tons of sun, just not really warming up because of those winds. We're stuck in the upper 40s. If you've got some Friday night plans, it's going to get cold quickly, dropping through the 40s down into the upper 30s by about 9 p.m. So even though we're in the upper 40s, today it looks decent. If you're just peeking outside the window, it feels real bad out there. Temperatures tonight tumble to the mid 20s in some of our neighborhoods, getting below freezing even here close to the strip. And temperatures tomorrow really not improving all of that much, although the wind tomorrow should be a lot less noticeable. Wanted to give you a slightly longer look at this temperature tracker, our forecast highs versus the average. You know, this time of February, we'd normally look for highs in the mid 60s, so we're about 15, 16 degrees colder than average today. Still much colder than average through the weekend, but hey, by the middle of next week on Wednesday, we're, we're back to normal. And then as we head into the end of next week, Thursday and Friday, uh, we are going to get back above average just in time to flip the calendar to March. So yeah, stuck in this wintry pattern with this very strong snowstorm uh, that I mentioned. Dana is just really impressive from a meteorological standpoint. It is going to be zipping across the country, bringing some really tough travel conditions to places like Denver over the next 24 to 36 hours. Just a heads up in case you're flying anywhere this weekend. Our weather locally is going to calm down a bit Saturday and Sunday, low 50s, more sun than not. The winds kind of relax, but very cold each weekend morning. Dana, next week things start to slowly improve near 60 by Monday afternoon. 60 show up Tuesday and hey, we'll flirt with 70 degrees Thursday or Friday of next week.